All right, guys, this is a great problem. Problem number 45 on page 24 of your text. Okay, now it actually says in the problem you can check out that uh, concept simulation. You're more than welcome to do that. It will kind of give you a visual example uh, of what you're looking at here, but I'm going to walk you through it right now as well. Okay, so let's take just a minute and, and uh, read through the problem, figure out exactly what we've got, and figure out what we're looking for. Okay, so it tells us that on a safari, a team of naturalists sets out towards a research station located 4.8 kilometers away in a direction 42 degrees north of east. So, let's start off. We've got our naturalists here. Okay. They're uh, hanging out. Well, we know they're naturalists because they got headbands with feathers and they're wearing loincloths. Yeah, very natural. Um, yeah, they're both men. That's why it's just loincloths. Um, and the research station is 42 degrees north of east from where they are. So if, if we got north that way and east is over that way, so north of east. So if I start east and I go north, 42 degrees. So this is where the research station is. Okay. 42 degrees. And here's my research station. How do I know it's research station? Well, it has a big R on it. Um, so now uh, it tells us that they start walking. They walk for 24, 2.4 kilometers and they stop and they realize that they've only been traveling 22 degrees north of east. So let's switch over to red and they've actually only been going about half of what they were supposed to. Okay, and that was 2.4 kilometers at 22 degrees north of east. Okay, now that original one uh, I forgot to write down but it was 4.8. Okay, so the question now is how far are they from the research station and what angle do they need to go at in order to get there? Okay, so that's our green vector. Okay, so how can we do that? Right, this is what we want. I want to figure out how far they need to go to get there. This is what I've got right now. Okay, so um, the easiest way to do this is to break everything up into components. Okay, now usually we take these two and add them together to get that. Okay, and so let's go ahead and, and work through that. Um, we'll name each of our vectors. I'll call this C because that's the correct direction. Okay, we'll call this A because that's the actual direction. And uh, we'll call this one E because that's the direct, or N. Yeah, that's, that's why I teach uh, science instead of literature. That's an N. Uh, this is N because that's the direction they need to go or they're going to uh, end up being stuck as naturalists with headbands and loincloths for the rest of their lives, which if they're in the jungle may be pretty short. So let's take each of our vectors, break them up into pieces. Okay, we know that if we take each of the pieces that the vector a in the x direction plus the vector n in the x direction should end up giving us the vector c in the x direction and then same thing if we do the other one so vector a in the y direction plus vector n in the y direction will give us vector c in the y direction All right, so let's go ahead and work from there. Let's take our vector C, which I made black up there. So vector C is 4.8 and at 42 degrees. Okay, so let's get our X and Y components that we need for that. So for the Y component, that is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 42 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So now we'll actually solve for y by multiplying both sides by 4.8. So we'll do 4.8 sine 
and the angle was 42. So 4.8 sine 42, that's 3.21. So we've got 3.21. So that is the y component of that 4.8. All right, now let's find the x component. And so that will be cosine of 42 because it's the adjacent side. And so that will be x over 4.8, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So we'll do the same thing, except this time it'll be 4.8 times the cosine of 42. So let's do that. So 4.8 cosine 42. And we get 3.567, so 3.57, so 3.57, and that's the x component, component of this one. All right, so there we go. And then we'll do the same thing with our other vector here. All right. So 